Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Welcome back out to the shop. So this Shop Talk Tuesday, I've got a bunch of announcements of some new stuff that I'm going to be throwing up on my Etsy site. So be sure to stay all the way through. I've got some exciting stuff going on out here in the shop. So last week I talked about a new formula that I was coming up with, adding uh, coal into my nebula blanks and then adding uh, black dye and or doing a 25% black to 33% black in there instead of... Uh, the 50% that I was doing before because people were reporting that it was too dark. So last night I actually got out and I turned up one of the coal blanks. And it turned out really nice. I like it. It's got a great depth of color. You can actually see all the way down and through into the middle. You still have to paint your tubes black with it. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I hope that's doing it justice. Um, I do actually have to redo this one because uh, I don't know either how it happened, but if you look there, you can see the tip of the pen sticking out. Um, I don't know if it's the mechanism. I've got to hit it with a um, set of calipers to see what length this ended up at, um, but I must have trimmed down too much, and so now the tip is exposed. So I've actually got to redo it because that sticks out way too far. And even close, the tip still sticks out. So that's not going to work. So got to redo it. But the coal looks really good. Um, she was hoping for more blue in it than uh, appeared on this one. This one's got a lot of violet. And some red. It does have like a blue section up here on the top. But she was really hoping for more blue. So I'm going to redo it, see if I can't uh, fulfill that uh, want for more blue within the blank. So I got an order the other day for some Cosmos blanks, so I've got some more Cosmic Cloud blanks. I've already had these listed in the shop, so go check those out if you want to get your hands on some. These turned out fantastic. Of course, that's way too bright for There we go. They look so cool, and these work great painting your tubes black, and they've got a ton of depth um, because of the fact that they're mostly clear, and then... Once you paint your tubes black, all of those colors show up and they're gorgeous and you don't have to worry about them being too dark. Um, and I'm going to be working on possibly doing some bespoke pens castings once I get my horizontal pressure pot going. One of the things that they wanted was they wanted Cosmos on half of the tube and then going down into a nebula on the other half of the tube. And I think that'll be kind of fun having to do like the dual pour going in there at the same time. So... We're going to be getting that going, and this, that'll be fun. But, yeah, those turned out absolutely fantastic. Really happy with those. So if you want to get some of those, check them out. They're going to sell quick, I'm sure. One of my announcements that I'm bringing up is the fact that I'm starting to do tube-in casting blank. So I've got some tube-in pens. These ones here are Sierras, and these are all patriotically themed. They've got eagles and flags and mountains and... Um, Declaration of Independence there in the background. So lots of awesome things. I'll throw photos of these up when I'm showing these, but these are really, really cool. These were just uh, like cell phone wallpaper. This one's really cool. It's got an AR-15 in the middle and it says, you can give peace a try. I'll cover you if it doesn't work out. And uh, just a classic 2A uh, scene and really, really excited to be carrying these. So I'm going to be carrying these in Sierras and in bolt action pen blanks. So if you guys want to get your hands on these in either Sierra or bolt action pen blanks, uh, I am going to be carrying these. I'll have two separate sections, and they're going to be patriotic themed tube in blanks, and then it'll have dash Sierra or dash bolt actions. Um, and then down below, you'll be able to select what kind you want. You know, this will be like the eagle with a mountain scene. Um, this will be like eagle with flag background. You see the flag in the background of that one. Um, this will be Declaration of Independence Eagle. And then, uh, so I'll have the names of them in there, and that'll link to the photos of what they are. But then down below, you'll also have an option for me to true up the ends for you because they're going to ship with the end uh, extra off here. But for $1.50 more, I can trim that off for you and have it trimmed to size. Otherwise, I'm just going to take it out of the mold, let it sit for a day, harden up, and then I'll just ship it to you. Um, but if you want that end trimmed off, that way as soon as it arrives in the mail, 
uh, you can just throw it onto your lathe and turn it, uh, that will be an option for $1.50 more. So the last few weeks, I've been casting up a whole bunch of stuff, and whenever I have a big cast that I've got to do, I always mix up a lot of extra resin that I'm going to need. Um, not a lot of extra, usually enough for one or two pen blanks. And what I've been doing with those is I've been adding in red, violet, blue shift powder and a little starlight glitter, and I've been casting up hybrid blanks. So I'm going to start selling these in the shop. I'm going to have them posted, linked to the individual items. I'm going to throw like a serial number onto here um, or a UPC code, you know, just something that I can designate just something that I can designate each blank with. So this one is going to be a, uh, this is a pink die stabilized maple with the cosmic cloud glitter. This one is a dual uh, N black die stabilized maple burl with the cosmic cloud resin. This one is blue die stabilized with the cosmic cloud resin. And then I've even got some curly koa with the cosmic cloud and then single end black die stabilized and some more blue and then just natural. And so I'm going to be carrying these in my shop and I'll have them linked so that when you select what, what the description is, it'll go directly to the photo of the exact blank that you're going to be ordering. And once that item sells, it's the only one of it that, the, that there is. So it's going to be gone. Now, all of these are live edge. You can see the mountainous structures and stuff of the live edge maple burl. And all of these are maple burl except for that one curly koa that I've got so far. I will be doing more in the future. Um, but yeah, all of these are really cool live edge. You can see the live edge in that one's really awesome. And this one was cool. This one actually had like a large wormhole in it. And so when I stabilized it, that uh, wormhole remained and the resin actually went in, down, and through. You can see the hole there and it pops up there. So that's going to be a really cool one, this dual end um, black dye stabilized burl. And this pink one's really nice because it's got like this uh, long section that jets out here. And then this structure that pops back up there into the middle. And so that'll look kind of like an island once it's turned around. You've got this long section that kind of skinnies down and then it'll pop back up. And it's going to be a really neat pen on that one. So come by, check those out because those are going to be fun. You get your hands on some custom die stabilized Cosmos blanks that'll have a neat space theme right in the middle of them and then the beautiful wood on the ends. Now come say hi. Oh, you're getting so big. Ah, somebody came out to say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. You guys might remember her. One of my first big videos that I put up, I actually had her. She came out, snuck in, was looking at the lathe while I was turning. Got a lot of, a lot of gruff from people because they didn't want her out here and then thought that it wasn't safe while I was turning up some Coco Bolo, but she's getting big. How old are you now? Four. Four? Four? Yeah. Okay. Are you nervous? You're not sure? You say hi. Did you wave? <laughs> you being silly. You want to go back inside? Okay. So she still comes out and visits me in the shop, but she knocks first when she comes out. So it works out a lot better, but bye. <laughs> so one thing I'm excited to do is right now I've got this piece of mother of pearl blank, actually, with some aluminum honeycomb in there. You can see the aluminum honeycomb and then some gorgeous colors of the mother of pearl, if that show up. Really beautiful sections. I took a photo of this uh, yesterday, threw it up on Instagram. I'll throw it right here. And it, really excited to get this one turned up. If it turns out well, um, then I'll be able to sell off these other two blanks that I cast up at the same time just as backups. And you guys can get your hands on these because I think this is going to be really neat. It's got some really cool sections because, you know, I, I cast the whole Mother of Pearl blank. So here's a Mother of Pearl blank. So when I cast it up, you know, I put in the red, green, blue, and violet, and I swirl all that in, and then I take black and I put it onto a stick, and I dip it down in, and I keep going in the black and making swirls and all sorts of fun things that make these lovely tiger lines that show up really beautifully. But when I dip the honeycomb down in, it grabs all that black that's at the top, and it kind of pushes it down to the bottom, and then it kind of raises back up through the individual channels of the honeycomb, and it looks super cool. I right, see if I can get a close in there. You can see 
all of those little sections of the uh, the black kind of rose back up and through, and it looks super awesome. You can see it probably better actually in the photo. Maybe I'll just impose the whole photo here, and you guys can just check it out and just cover up me. So you can see those sections of black that are kind of rising back up and through, and they're really awesome. And it gives it a lot more of a shell look, I think, because the it kind of thinned out those black lines and really brought out that, that shell quality to the appearance. It looks really neat. I can't wait to get this turned up, and I hope it turns out well so I can get you guys those other two blanks. I think they're going to be fun. Well, that's it for this week. Just give you guys a quick video, just of some of the stuff that I'm going to be throwing up on Etsy here real soon. i got to go in and get some high-quality pictures of all this stuff taken after I apply some finish on all these blanks and then get them uh, put online. I just cut them up last night, so I've, I haven't put any finish on them yet. So what you guys just saw is actually the rough look, and if you go onto my Etsy page, you know, on the links down below, um, you'll actually be able to see the finished product and with them with some of finish applied, because I think they're gonna be pretty spectacular. So thank you so much for joining me out in the shop this week. This is Tactical Painter out at Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out, and happy turning.